Hello guys, it's your boy Daniel Dozen and we're back at it again with another Division 2 event video. So today we have the Hollywood Global event going on. You can see the details under Season when you press Options and you'll show Hollywood. Now you're going to want to go ahead and go press X to open and if you don't have it activated, press Square to activate it. That's That will give you the first reward which is an arm patch. Now you can deactivate this the same way by pressing Square whenever you're in a safe place and or area, a camp, safe house etc now let's get into what they're talking about with the challenges now every day they release the challenges this event is activated for seven days or six hours I mean six days and 21 hours as you can see but within the next four days they're gonna release more challenges and these challenges you can go back and forth with that throughout the whole event so Let's say day two comes out and you don't have all day one challenges, but you want to move on to day two. You're able to do so. On top of that, um, do keep in mind when it says complete any main mission on hard difficulty or above that you have to have the global event activated while completing the mission. Now, do be careful with matchmaking. I know they said they might have changed it, but my experience so far is when I do matchmake a mission that I'm trying to do with the global event activated, and somebody who doesn't have it activated ends up joining my match, it deactivates the event for me and I don't end up getting this challenge done. Just keep that in mind. And the first day challenges we have is damage shielded hostiles with thrown grenades or explosive, which is kind of your objective in this, as we'll read it soon. Hit shielded hostiles with your specialization weapon. Hit shielded hostiles with explosive skills. Mainly attack shielded hostiles. Eliminate Rikers. And we're going to get more into what I was just talking about here. So Hollywood, global event. Details, rogues have outfitted all hostile fractures with energy shields which deflect a majority of typical damage. However, these shields have been proven quite dangerous if introduced to the proper stimuli. Damaging shielded hostiles with explosives, EMP damage, or any kind of specialization weapon will cause their shields to burn out and explode, which is why it's a challenge. Any enemies eliminated in this way will drop special order hits. Agents are advised to arm themselves with as many explosives as they can carry and do their best to maintain a deadly conflagration as they eradicate America's enemies. Be advised, veterans and elite enemies are armed with more advanced shields and may withstand multiple attacks. Group leaders determine the state of global event activation for the group. So it kind of did was new when you activated it, it changes your global settings, which I kind of like. So, which maybe mean that matchmaking might be a little bit promising now. You will automatically be grouped with other agents who have activated the global event when matchmaking. Rewards. New challenges are released each day of the global event. Complete these challenges to progress through the global event tiers, which are all the little stars that you see and the stars that you gain per during challenge. Rewards can be claimed from season vendors at the base of operations or inside Haven via seasons in the pause menu or if you don't claim your rewards before the global event ends, they will automatically be moved to your mailbox aka your stash. Locations that you can use the global event effects are present everywhere in DC, Lower Manhattan, and outlining missions areas. Only the Dark Zone, Conflict, Expedition, and Raids are unaffected by this global event. Now, don't forget, like we were saying, we do have the tiers here. As you can see, you get like four stars for doing the first challenge, etc. These chairs will get you these rewards up to an exotic cash and a backpack trophy, which is some awesome shades, hey, from maybe Johnny Cage. But enough about that if you guys still don't have your termite league finish you can finish it up we have another week to get those 60 stages done as you can see i got 30 out of 60 myself and a little side up about this is you can go ahead and activate hollywood global event and do these time trials with the Hollywood Global Event activated at the same time. That's getting you so much more experience because remember, every stage you complete, you get 74,000 experience for this league, and that goes to your season and watch levels. Uh, that's really pretty much it. I will catch you guys for the next coming soon event, which is Target Luna. And that's how then, agents. I hope you guys best of luck, and thank you so much for taking the time to watch. And until next time, I'll talk to you guys later.